Treasure hunters, welcome. I'm down in a creek bed today near my house. I'm collecting a little bit of natural clay. I'm gonna try and do a fire a pot, you know, just see how well this clay is. The clay that's down here um, in this area, it's it's got it's a lot of it's got a lot of plastic to it. It's it seems like uh it'll form real good. Um, hopefully it'll fire and not crack. We're gonna give it a little test run. I just took a little bit for a test. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna have to process it. There might be a little bit of leaves and stuff in it, but I did take it directly out of the out of the out of the creek bed. So uh, I'll show you a little bit of that here in just a second. And as soon as I get enough, we'll head back to the house and uh, we'll see if we can fire a pot with it. Here we are. This is a creek bed nearby my house. I come down to collect a little bit of natural clay. Uh, you can see like along the banks there. You can see there's a lot of clay and stuff in the banks. Good thing about getting it after uh, out of a creek bed and everything is it's pretty much been uh, processed and everything. You get more natural clay if you dig it if you dig it right out, out you know out of the creek bed or out of a river. Um, I chose this side today. I didn't want to cross the water to get to the more red clay. The red clay more usually has a little more sand and stuff in it. So I dug in here. I did get a, a pretty good uh, chunk of natural clay out of it. We'll take it back to the house. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how how well it uh, fires, and see if we can make a decent pot out of it. Um, I also did do a little test pan here for see if there was any uh, any bits of gold laying down in here. You don't find too much gold in Illinois, but I always like to do a test pan when I get somewhere. I figured this log might be a good spot to uh, find a little bit of gold trap behind this tree laying down here. All right, let's take this bag. I got a bag of clay here. Let's head back to the house. Okay, guys, so I'm back home. I got the clay in the bucket. I put two bags in there total. Um, topped it, filled it over with water, and I've just been mixing. What I do is put my shovel in it. And I just keep churning it. Usually I'll let this sit for two or three days before I even mess with it. But just nothing to do today, so... Probably get it done. I'll probably let this sit uh, overnight anyway before I try to, to run it through a filter screen or anything, get all the stuff out of it. Uh, you get you get leaves, you'll get sticks, you'll get bugs, you get all kinds of stuff coming out of the clay. But when you get it out of the river or creek bed, uh, the river does a good job of uh, filtering all that stuff out. Um, if you get it, if you go out and you dig it somewhere, other than being in water, a lot of times it'll have a lot more stuff in it and it's harder to, to screen out. I'm going to start classifying it. Let's go just take a picture. When I get it low enough, when I get it low enough, I will just take the bucket up and dump it in. But this basically just start running to a filter. Your filter screen, get all the leaves and all the crap out of it. That's all stuff that will, that's all stuff that'll break your clay apart. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run this through there and I'll show you the mixture when I'm done. Okay guys, I processed that clay a little bit. Uh, I did it through one time. It's starting to get some more sediment to the top. It's going to have to go at least one more time. But I'm going to let this sit for about three or four days and let it uh, soak. But I did get all the sand and all the big clumps and leaves and stuff out of it. I think one more, uh, one more screening of this will do it really good. And then I'll just let it dry down. But anyway, I want to show you what the first, uh, first step of it looked like anyway. Okay, guys, I moved on to the next step. After I filtered all the clay, I poured it into a into a pillowcase. Basically all I'm doing is draining all the moisture and the water out of the clay itself. I, I hung it up from a tree. It'll probably hang here for a good two days and until uh, it gets all the water and everything out of the clay. The only thing that should be left in there is actual uh, pure clay. 